Hello everybody and welcome to another photography talk video and this time I want to talk to you about printing the images by your own versus sending the images to a lab. Before we begin as usual a little message uh, if you like this channel please support it put in a like subscribe to the channel sharing with your friends you can also go to my website www.barbano.com and register for the weekly email update so that's a good way if you do want to do something a little bit more check out uh, for example my books for example this that is inject fine art printing and this is this was just released in the english version the italian version really got very good reviews so check it out is the perfect uh, in the argument of this video so you will have inside here everything from an explanation of the technology to color management how to set up the drivers how to calibrate the printers and so on so uh, very nice book check it out this said let's talk about uh, the printing or not first of all uh, printing is the most important thing you have to do with your images. It, if you want to, to keep and preserve your images for the future, printing is the only way. Uh, a digital file is something that can uh, uh, in some way disappear and can become uh, not much more readable in a few years. Uh, I found images from the late uh, 1800s uh, from my grandparents. They were in uh, a drawer box I opened I was able to see the images and was fantastic um, images made in the 90s with digital uh, they were on supports that I was not more able to read and uh, I was not able to see the pictures so a printed image is something that uh, is visible without instruments without uh, a software with a specific language so it's uh, something that is uh, uh, how can I say it <laughs> international something that you don't need a specific language everybody can look at an image and see the image no matter the technology you just need a source of light from the Sun to a candle and your eyes and everything will be there with the digital file that's not the case you will need a computer and a language that is compatible with the one used to create the image so print and always print the images you want to preserve for the future but uh, there's a choice you can print the images sending them to a laboratory or you can buy a printer and do it yourself if you look at the economical side of, uh, of this um, if you do a lot of fine art so um, you like to print on a very good uh, fine art paper uh, it's worth to own your own printer if you print at least uh, 100 images a year and uh, in that case uh, in the, around uh, a year you have probably repaid the printer almost at least in two years for sure you repay the printer and save it some money instead of uh, in, compare it to sending them to a lab but uh, uh, that's not the only aspect uh, sometimes also if you print few images it's fantastic to have a printer and do the job yourself because uh, first of all you will learn your skills and you will learn how to create your art uh, the final product of photography is a print uh, you can also mm, think that uh, images must just be done and shared online but that's not the real case the final product of an images must be a print because the print is what uh, you sell and what the people want people want to buy a print to put on a wall uh, people will buy prints for many reasons for artistic reasons but uh, usually a file is just something that you can sell in a very commercial environment but uh, in an artistic environment the result must be a print and uh, to learn uh, the process from the beginning to the end and learn all the uh, little uh, differences little things that you can do to get from a good print to a great print that is what will improve you as a photographer as an artist so that is really essential and another aspect 
why I love to print my images and uh, I always uh, did a lot of black and white at time with the film and printed in the dark room. I still use a lot of film right now and uh, um, I intend to put together again my dark room but at the moment I scan the negative and I do uh, digital prints. And that is because I really like to have the control on every aspect of the photography. Uh, when you have an image and you send it to the lab, you have no idea what the lab will do to the image. Uh, first of all, most labs uh, they require you to send the file online. And that already means that you will send a JPEG image. So it's not uh, a 16-bit image, it's not uh, a non-compressed image with all details. It will be an 8-bit compressed image. Another aspect, uh, and that will be, will be quality that goes down. Another aspect that is absolutely important is that uh, all the color management is very difficult to find laboratories that give you the exact profile for the specific paper and printer and so on. Usually they ask for the image in a standard prof profile like Adobe RGB or sRGB. So that's the thing. And uh, when you do it yourself, you can really control. So you can decide to keep the image 16 bits until the end. You can decide a lot of parameters. You can decide uh, the kind of paper. Uh, usually laboratories, they offer you uh, a certain numbers of papers, but uh, if you print yourself, you can test a lot of different papers and you can try new things. So this is another way to uh, give your um, artistic style, to express your artistic style in images. It can be the choice of the paper. So that's a great aspect and another thing is that uh, if you have uh, an you created an image and uh, you have the image on your display if you print it and you can see the results while your images is there and check all the things in an immediate way you can learn much more about the difference of uh, an image on the screen or an image on a paper and uh, you can learn to interpret the data and uh, you can uh, modify and try again. You can do a lot of uh, proofs because you have an immediate feedback. So that's something that will improve you as a photographer and as a uh, fine art uh, maker uh, much more than sending an image to the lab and wait days. So that's uh, the thing. And uh, basically you will be autonomous to create your work of art. So you can have an idea and you can just go with the idea and after a few hours you can have the results that is ready to put, be put on a wall. Uh, if you use uh, an external printer you usually will have to wait more days and you will not have the same control over the prints. So this is uh, exactly why I like to have printers. Uh, I think that uh, I can artistically express myself in a more complete way if I go from the idea to the print all by myself. Uh, no matter if the printing system is an analog printing system in a dark room and you have to stay hours uh, in uh, with the red light and the smell of faces or if it's something like uh, an inject printer that is uh, pretty easy and very clean and fast to use but uh, I like to have the control from the idea to the final product of art and that is why I think to own a printer is really really a great deal. Uh, this said you have to evaluate how much you print. Uh, if you just at the end of the game print a couple of images a year a printer is not worth but uh, if you print just a couple of images a year change your attitude. Uh, print more. And also another thing that if you own a printer you're stimulated to print more. It will become uh, something natural to see a good image and see a good image on your computer and say to yes I print that. 
uh, something that you don't do usually if you have to think I send the image to a lab I have to wait uh, some days and all these kind of things and I will have a cost uh, that is uh, another cost while you know when more you print on your printer and less per print the cost will be so uh, this is uh, why I really really like to have a printer. There are many other aspects of uh, printing that are really uh, nice printing by yourself but uh, most of all for me is to learn and control the process from the ideation to the end. And this is all about uh, why to have a printer. Um, again the most important part if you buy a printer is to invest not just in the printer but in the knowledge and the knowledge can be a book like this and uh, the printer is something that uh, uh, don't don't look at all the fights online between brands I tried both Epson and Canon both are excellent uh, they have advantages or disadvantages both so uh, the best things you can do to choose a printer is to download the manuals and read the reality about the printers because the brochure will never tell you uh, the problems of the printer but the manual will tell you if you need uh, uh, I don't know a lot of room to change the roll of papers all these kind of things another fantastic thing about printing is that uh, uh, the choice of the media you can print in at home you can choose between a lot a lot of different uh, kind of supports and that's another fantastic thing because it's something that can let experiment with your artistic vision so this is all for this video uh, if you liked it please put a like subscribe to the channel uh, share the video with your friends and go on my website www.barbano.com and you can register to receive the weekly newsletter when there are updates Thank you for watching, see you next time.